all right what up what up what up welcome back i know it's been a a real hot long minute since i've uploaded a video which you know i apologize but like i said before i don't really like doing the fluff videos so um yeah when i don't have content i just don't upload my bad but um i'm back at end of month meet andrew asked me to come help him out again and we're doing some dang just dropped my pin all the VIP parkers this time. We just started, so um, we can get the night kicked off. And we're gonna see if we can't find another car. Cause you know, every time I come to these end of month meets, I like to try and find a car that really stands out that may not be exactly to the populace's liking, but it catches my eye. So we're gonna try and find something tonight. walking around now s15 right here is like super super clean got the c28s on it and everything it's like a whole group of them <laughs> it's pretty funny Dang. A little supra two supras here we go. I've been wanting to check this car out for a while, but I haven't had a chance. This thing is crazy. I've seen, I've like followed this thing on Instagram for a little while. And uh, he did drag week in this car. Freaking supercharged and everything. Badass fucking Mustang. Which, it was another one over here. This dude almost hit me coming in the gate, but we're gonna give him some points because it is a Mustang, so it ain't his fault completely. My pizza! <laughs> That's the other two pizza. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, and there's nothing really that's just jumping out at me yet. I saw a pretty sick EG Civic, but uh, I'm, I'm like trying not to go for a horsepower car. I'm trying to go something else that just jumps out at me for a different reason. And everybody know I got a little secret EG fetish. This thing is a boosted K20. Pretty sick. I spoke with the owner real quick. He said it's a 460 kilowatts, which is freaking insane for a front wheel drive little tin can. Is that K-Sport? Badass little EG. And just like that, it started raining. Not bad though. The first two meets got rained out completely. Whereas this one was actually allowed to even happen. So not too bad, but I just found a pretty dope 32 GTR uh, with a pretty good carbon bonding on it that I've been checking out. Cause um, I'm looking for a carbon bonnet myself. And I actually like this a lot. Said it's a Sybin hood. And the underside looks like it'll it'll clear the 30 for me, so we might have to scoop one of these up. We got rain. We got rain. Alright, well, 
it's probably super shaky film but it is what it is um i'll probably meet you guys back in the cave and we'll finish it off there but i'll uh give you guys the update on the gtr and why i haven't been putting any content out about it um, a little bit frustrated but i kind of understand where it's coming from so i'll uh i'll see you guys back in the cave all right what is up y'all i'm back in the cave uh, i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on on the gtr and you know where it sits at the moment um so basically a couple of weeks ago i got called and basically said hey bring all your all your stuff because you know engines on the stand ready to go when i got there the engine wasn't together not that i'm making excuses for anybody or anything like that but i mean business is business you know workshops have to turn over x amount per day to stay open like you don't survive off you know one guy building an engine um especially one that's not paying everything up front so no hard feelings from me at all it just kind of sucks because like i want to make videos for you guys but that rhythm of you know weekly uploads with stuff happening all the time it just that's just not the game so uh wish i was in that position but i'm not but i do have uh an update for you guys with the car well i went and helped one of my buddies with his car he was trying to get it aligned and everything and he gave me this carbon fiber cooling panel and i've got the rubber on mine which i don't even think i've actually closed the hood on yet so this is still brand new it's just dusty so i'm gonna pull this off put the carbon on there and just see how it looks i think the biggest kind of update that i've got going on in the background right now is if you're in the facebook group i dropped a little bit of a hint like it was a pretty obvious hint um but i don't really want to go too public with it until the video drops i'm you know filming and featuring gtrs already and um this is gonna allow me to do that even more so uh yeah i'm pretty excited about this one and i guess the only real thing i can say is watch this space because it's, it's about to get crazy. These are a lifesaver because it doesn't scratch your paint and you can just pop all your plastic clips out pretty easily. Like so. Just chuck that up on the old dusty car. And let's see how this fits. Now this isn't like a genuine, it's second hand, like you can see it's got cracks and chipped and all that stuff, but hey, free parts are free parts. You ain't gonna catch me complaining. What we got? Let me just see if I can't set this on here. It's pretty hard to do with one hand. There we go. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Put some of those in there, make it sit nice and flush. But I like that. And then, as I said last night, when um, the 30 goes in, this is gonna have to come off. And, and I'm gonna probably have to like chop one of the ribs out for where the turbo sits and then where the timing cover sits. So my plan is to get a carbon hood to where the vents in the hood are already kind of raised up so I don't have to cut anything. That's the, that's the plan. Whether or not it happens like that, I don't know. Finding the hood that I like has actually been a challenge. I've narrowed it down to two, one which you've now seen. My first choice is the one that I want, but it's just, I'm having a lot of trouble trying to actually get a hold of the guys uh, that sell it. So we'll see what happens on that. But um, look, this is still happening. It's still going. Yeah, just a real quick and dirty kind of update and be looking out for uh, for this next video that doesn't come out on my channel. <laughs> That's all I can say. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one.